What up you wow fiends? Today we're going to do a guide for Star Augur Atreus. The first thing you want to know is you want to set up two different groups across from each other. About four to five people stacking in each group because the tank is going to get a debuff called Gravitational Pull. It's going to happen every 30 seconds in phase one and the tank's going to have to run the pull to a stack of people so they can clear the debuff. Enough people have to be in that stack, so if you're off running injections and stuff like that, you'll want to make sure that you run right back to your group as fast as you can so there's enough people in the group for the tank to soak. Alright, so what are these injections that I'm talking about? The boss is going to cast Icy Injection onto random people. Okay, you're going to run it out of the raid. And then you're going to get right back to your group. If you don't get right back to your group and the tank has to drop his debuffs off and there's not enough people there, the tank's going to die and you're eventually going to wipe. So there's going to be a lot of icing injections cast. He's going to cast three over 15 seconds. Then there's 50 seconds without no icy injection cast. And then he's going to cast three more every five seconds three times. So at the end of the last... I see injection cast. There's going to be nine people with a debuff having to run out and get away from everybody else. So you want to try to burn through this part as fast as you can to get to phase two. Because if not, you're going to have nine people running out and the tank's going to have nobody to drop his debuffs on. So just get out of there. Okay, so at the beginning of phase two, all the injections are going to be foul injections. Atreus will summon a fell spear near a random player's location, and the spear will fire the fell injection debuff at three nearby players. The fell debuff deals, deals more moderate periodic damage and drops a pool of fell flame after each tick. So it's basically like rot. You want to run around, drop one, run around, drop one. You want to keep it all on the outside so that way melee players and the tanks can stay inside on the tank or on the boss and they don't have to worry about walking over all your fell flames that you're dropping in the middle of everybody. Also in this phase, and it's a pretty quick phase, so you can burn through it really fast as long as you just dodge all the fell flame on the ground and all that. Um, gravitational pull debuff only lasts five seconds, but it turns into a giant comet and it hits like five people around it. So you wanna, you wanna make sure there's at least four or five people stacked on the tank. Okay, phase three. If you made it to here, you're doing really good. This part is easy. He's going to spawn an ad once every minute. Okay, as soon as he spawns the first ad, you pop your lust. You burn that ad down. Okay, the ads themselves do like a Karazhan mechanic where they shine a light. And if they see you, then they hit you like a truck. So make sure you turn away. Okay, gravitational pull still happens in this, so you want your off tank to switch taunts when it's up, and then you just switch add. That's just for the first add. When the second add comes out, you have the off tank take it off to the outside, and everybody stands behind the boss in this phase. Don't ever stand in front of the boss. We're going to have the add tank behind everybody. Waiting for the add. There's the add. We're going to pop the loss. We're going to blow them up. When he does his spell, we're all going to turn around so that he can't, you know, blind us or whatever and kill us. And we're going to continue to burn him down. And that's basically going to be the fight right there. The boss should be dead soon. Like within 30 to 45 seconds after that, first ad's dead. You know, you just have the other tank tank the second ad behind everybody. That way they don't even have to turn for his spell other than that it's basically gg 